Hello, hello, good morning. It is Friday. I hope the sun is shining where you are. I hope your heart is light and your mind is free and in a positive state. Today's episode is going to be about heartbreak because for too long I was running around with a broken heart and didn't even know it. Yet I was bleeding all over my people so to say, with my wounds that haven't healed in the, from the past. And I projected fear and insecurity onto my relationships and burdened my friendships. So it is really important to know that even though you might have gotten over your ex and you're not really talking anymore to check in with yourself have you completely healed from that painful experience or has it changed you forever sometimes we make conclusions when it comes to heartbreak when when we're being dumped we make conclusions about ourselves that are not really true anymore or that have never been really been true so if you've been left by your girl and she found somebody else and he might be a little more sporty or a little bit more successful at his job we usually make the conclusion that we're not enough that we have to change that we cannot be authentic and then that idea runs wild with us without us even noticing there's so many people that i meet that are like total gym addicts for instance people who run to the gym several times a week and they do like a great job they're very fit and healthy yet they started that hobby because they wanted to get away from this pain. And don't get me wrong, when you are in a bad place, then it's very good to be physically active and to take really good care of your body. But there comes a point where your ego takes over and where your pain is your fuel and this is also not a bad thing because you can be very successful if you use your pain as your fuel to be successful in sport or any kind of hobby. But I just want you to make aware that there can be a shift happening, a shift towards self-care, a shift towards a more positive motivation um, to use your hobbies um, the intention you have when you approach a gym or when you approach a new hobby is very very important if you do it because you feel you're not enough because you feel you're lacking something then you will have very different results than for instance if you were going to go to the gym because you want to take really good care of yourself you're listening to your body you tune into your body and there's days where you're gonna lift these weights and go crazy <laughs> aggressive on the boxing bag on the punching bag but there will also be days where you allow stillness and silence and nothingness those are the times when the pain would normally creep up and people who are still in avoidance mode and trying to escape a pain will usually not allow those times of rest and relaxation. So yeah, today's episode is very touching and encouraging and empowering for people who have gone through um, heartbreak and um, I will provide you with tools on how to heal completely from your heartbreak and to get back to yourself and make you 
feel your self-worth again. Because a lot of the times when we're broken up with, when a relationship fails, we feel we are a total failure. We feel completely ripped apart and unstable. And sometimes it means that in the relationship we gave ourselves up. We didn't um, kind of preserve our individuality. We totally melted together with that person and gave everything up that was important to us before the relationship. And that's just why after a breakup sometimes, most of the time, it's intensely like crisis situation because you don't know who you are without that person next to you. So with that episode, it is the first one out of many when it comes to um, heartbreak. I will help you to rebuild yourself, to reconnect to yourself, and then maybe even give you tools on how to be in a more healthy relationship with yourself. And then entering the next relationship you want to um, start, romantic relationship that you want to um, yeah, pursue, um, to be more confident and to relate to people in a more healthy way. My podcast here is all about resilience and self-reflection and empowering people. If you like my work, make sure to subscribe and leave me a review on Apple Podcast. And if you like my little videos here and can resonate with them, please share. Sending my love out to you.